Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Aaron Alexander with Evolution Daily. And in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining how you can find your life's purpose. I look like a complete scrub right now. I'm wearing this dirty ass hat. You know, I'm a little rough down here. This shirt sucks. I wasn't planning on filming a video today, but honestly, it's just very, very important that I respond to this email as soon as I possibly can. So again, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining how you can find your life's purpose. And it's in direct response to an email that I received. And uh, I basically hit the guy back and I said straight up, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video about this. So, um, and if you guys ever wanna email me, it's Aaron at evolutiondaily.com. You know, never ever hesitate to reach out. If I don't respond in a timely fashion, just hit me back and be like, hey asshole, you never responded and chances are I just got lost. So, um, hey Aaron, first of all, big fan. Uh, your story is very inspiring. I love watching your infield videos. Uh, there's a lot here. He kind of talks about his journey in game and he ends up getting to this part. My problems are probably more to do with inner game. I'm a 29 year old guy who is totally lost in life. I work in a job I hate and it seems impossible to find anything I'm passionate about. I feel like I became an adult at a very young age. I believed what bullies told me that I was stupid and incapable of doing anything meaningful with my life. I suppressed the sense of adventure and wanderlust that a good childhood is supposed to bring. Um, he goes on to basically just talk about how he views pickup as very important, but most of all, he wants to get this figured out. So he's 29, a couple years older than me, I'm 27, turning 28 very soon, actually, about six months or so. And he just has no idea what his passion is, okay? And this is why I wanted to make this video on how to find your life's passion, okay? Now, for me, um, you know, my passion ended up becoming, my, my passion ended up being the thing that I think, teaching the thing that I think was taught to me that drastically changed every area of my life. That being, you know, essentially teaching men cold approach pickup and the dynamics of relationships and um, just overall how, how to be a, a better, you know, a better man and, and hopefully a more driven and ambitious man. I try to motivate you guys here on the channel. Um, but I have a lot of passions for other things as well. You know, um, shortly before I started evolution daily, I was very passionate about stand up comedy. Um, you know, I, I would say I'm pretty passionate about like, I, I, I'm passionate about some of the TV shows that I love. I get very, I get very deep into things. I'm very passionate about paintball, right? I have a lot of these different things that I could see kind of dedicating my entire life to um, as far as a pursuit of happiness and career and things like that. And, and overall, what, I, what I'm really just trying to get at here is I think overall one of the major keys to finding your purpose in life is realizing that life has no purpose, okay? So, you know, you take a look at Christianity and Christianity says that our only purpose, humanity's only purpose, we were put here to worship God. Well, if you're watching this video, you're a grown ass adult and you know that that's complete and utter bullshit, okay? And that we are not here to worship God, okay? But if we're not here to worship God, then what are we here to do? Some people say, I was born to teach people how to lose weight. I was born to help people. I was born to drive race cars, you know, to play football. I was born to be an NFL football player. Were you born to be an NFL football player or were you born having the predisposition to be successful at whatever you gave your all. Would that same guy who was born to be an NFL player, would that guy have dedicated himself to, you know, a, a myriad of other skills and crafts and then become successful at those things? I think so. I truly do. Now, I've been around people that have a very clear-cut and concise passion, okay? You know, my buddy Dominic, he was in a touring metal band for a very long time, and I was there when his uncle gave him his first guitar, and it was just obvious right out of the gate, Dominic was going to fucking kill it a guitar forever okay that's what he was going to do and he's still doing it and that was like 10 15 years ago something like that very long time ago okay passion is not something that can be i don't think it's something that you just go off and find okay um i think that what it is is i think that it's it's you experience a lot of different things in life and you have different levels of enthusiasm for those things you know for those experiences you know some people say i'm so passionate about traveling are you passionate about traveling or is it just really fun to travel and, and experience new things? Because that in itself is a passion, right? So 
And what I really want to, what, what, what I'm really trying to get to here is, is basically almost just letting go entirely of this idea of finding your life's passion, okay? Chances are there isn't just this one thing. Just like I don't really believe in soulmates. Have you met two people where they're together um, and, and it just seems like, God, they were fucking made to be together? Or have you ever had that experience? Yes, 100%. Like that is something that it, it, it seems to happen, right? But in all actuality, what it is is there's just 7 billion people on this planet and there's, you know, a good amount of those people that you would be very, very compatible with based on different personality, you know, characteristics and traits and looks and sexuality and all these different things and in all actuality you just found one of the people that you are very very compatible with so the same thing i think goes for passions so don't beat yourself up about the fact that you don't have this like one thing this one looming idea in your head of this is what i want to do so instead try a bunch of different things try a bunch of different things and do things that are going to inspire you. So for me, I think that one of the most inspirational moments of my entire life was when I went to New York City for the very first time. Um, now the guy who emails here, he is living in Ireland. Um, so what I say to you is go to, you know, go to Dublin or go to, I don't know, somewhere, it's go, to the, go to London, somewhere where you're gonna be motivated by all the hustle and bustle and the grind and the ambition. You know, they say that there's that expression, you know, they say that you will become the average of the five people you spend your time with the most. 150% fucking true, dude. I'm never more inspired than when I am around a bunch of ambitious, inspiring, badass people. So surround yourself with some badass people. Um, Another big thing, I, I, you know, I'll just say straight up, and this is something I haven't really talked about that much on the channel, try psychedelics. If you've never done mushrooms, if you've never done acid, if you've never experienced these things, you know, I really highly, highly recommend them. Um, I'm not a doctor. This isn't medical advice of any kind. You know, consult with a physician prior to experimenting with hallucinogens, I guess, you know. Um, but, but overall, you know, I will say that I think that, you know, um, major, major transformational experience for me was the first time I ever did mushrooms and the times that I did them after that. Uh, you know, just the way that you view the world, it just becomes different. Everything becomes so much more clear. You stop really focusing on a lot of the negativity. Um, and you had laid out in the initial email that you were focused on a lot of negativity, things that people had planted in your head, things that people, you know, had told you that you believed about yourself. And when you take psychedelics, it does something to your brain that allows you to experience the world on, um, on, from from really outside the box. I mean, not to use the most old school cliche there is, but really, really stepping outside of it and viewing it for what it truly is. And it really helps you to understand what is important to you and what it is that you value. Um, so I would definitely recommend experimenting with psychedelics if you haven't yet, um, honestly. And again, I'm not a doctor. This is not medical advice. Consult your physician before experimenting. Um, trying a lot of different things, realizing that there is not, for most people, for most human beings, there is not just this one huge thing. You know, there's not. There's not this one gleaming thing where it's just standing out as like, I want to do that. You have to try a bunch of different things. You, um, you, you have to put yourself in the position to succeed, right? So, so many people are doing things, you know, I mean, me personally, I mean, I used to just get wasted all the time. And when I was getting wasted all the time, I was not putting myself in a position to succeed. I didn't truly put myself in a position to succeed until after I'd cut out the booze. You know, alcohol is a very serious problem for me. So if that's an issue with you, highly recommend taking a break off the booze and seeing what you're capable of accomplishing without it. Um, so yeah, overall, I mean, I mean, main points here, give psychedelics a try in all seriousness. I really, really highly recommend that disconnecting as well, you know, disconnecting just from, um, just disconnecting from your phone, disconnecting from society, you know, going out into the fucking wilderness. Honestly, I've had some of my craziest life revelations while I was out in the woods, completely sober. You know, I'm not talking about going out and tripping in the woods, just going on long hikes by myself, um, disconnecting from everybody and everything. I think that that can be incredibly beneficial as well. So, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, letting go of this idea that there's just one huge thing that you're supposed to be doing, um, experimenting with psychedelics possibly, you know, putting yourself in, in a situation to where you can succeed and surrounding yourself with, with people and, and, and being in a motivational, inspirational, you know, setting. And I think that if you really, really try some of these things, pushing your comfort zone, you know, honestly, obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna recommend going out and doing a lot of pickup. Obviously, I really genuinely just believe that pickup has done wonders for my mental health. I truly, truly believe that, that, um, you know, it really squashed a lot of the limiting beliefs that I had for myself and that has made me a more 
confident, happy man. And I think that it would do the same for you as well. So, you know, I know I rambled a little bit here, but I, I know that at least for the hardcore fans here and hopefully for you that, you know, you sent me this email, uh, you know, hopefully it'll really resonate with you and hopefully it'll really help you, whoever you are that got to the end of this video, find your purpose in life. Tell me pretty lies, me in the face, tell me the truth.